everyone, it's Miss Yua here. I hope you're all okay. Um, it's been beautiful weather. I hope you've been able to enjoy some of the sun. Unfortunately, I haven't, but there'll be time for that after lockdown's finished. Um, today, we're going to be doing a bit on pharaohs from humanities. Now, I haven't seen much of your work recently. It's making me a bit sad. So I'm hoping with this new style of video, um, you guys will be sending me some more work. So I'm going to hope it works. Let's see what happens. So can press this button and I'm gonna press this button and let's see if that works. Ha ha! Brilliant. So hopefully you can still see me down in the little bubble on your left hand side of the screen. Um so today is all about pharaohs. Um you can see the email address at the bottom of the screen and that's for you guys to send your work to. Um so it's yr3 at grange.harrow.sch dot uk that's the email you've been sending all your work to recently so send it on there and then the lovely teachers in year three will make sure i will get your work so you are going to see a few different um think signs today little pictures little icons and they will help you um with what to do so we've got the first one is like a pause button um here we go hopefully you can see that a pause button a blue pause button that means stop the video and have a pause i might ask you a question or i might ask you to do something so you'll need time to do that and the other one is a, like a notepad and pencil and that means you'll have to write something down so we'll be using that throughout the videos that i do for you okay so what are you going to need today so you're going to need a pencil or a pen either or up to you what you write with but you will definitely need a pencil some lined paper if you've got it um coloring pencils or pens because it's gonna be a little bit creative and maybe a ruler as well so pause the video you can see the little pause sign there pause the video while you go and find those resources in your homes okay so your ally today is that you know that there were different pharaohs so it wasn't just one there were different types of pharaohs and your success criteria is that you know what pharaohs did in ancient egypt you're able to recognize key events in a timeline and you can name pharaohs famous pharaohs and when they ruled so pause the video while you write down your ally and don't forget the date as well okay so make sure you pause otherwise i'll be moving on you'll miss out on the rest of it so recap questions we recap number one who was the most important person in ancient egypt now you should know that from the work we've done before easter so you should know who the most important person in ancient egypt is who was the least important pe people or person in ancient egypt and do you think it's important to have a class system that's the pyramid and why i want you to pause the video and write down your answers to these questions. I would love to see the answers, by the way. Okay, I'm going to go through the answers. So, who was the most important person in ancient Egypt? Well, hopefully you guys have written down pharaohs. Pharaohs were at the top of that pyramid of hierarchy. They were the most important. They were seen like gods. Okay, the least important per people in ancient Egypt were hopefully you've got this one right slaves they were right at the bottom of that pyramid so they weren't important and now this last question is up to you do you think it's important to have a class system and why so some of you might think yeah it's important there's important to have important people because they make the rules and it's important to have people at the bottom we can't all be equal some of you will say no but we all should be equal I'd love to see your answers. So, what is a timeline? We use timelines quite a lot. I know Mr. Loza has put on some purple mash timeline work for you guys. Um, last week, I think um, some of you might have done it. Or if not, it'll be this week. A timeline shows us a, a, a set of events in an order. So, for example, for myself, it'll be when I was born maybe my next event would be when i first went to school 
when I went to middle school, when I went to secondary school, and so on and so forth. But it'd be in order with dates. They can be used to give us information about important events that happened. They list the events in chronological order. That means from furthest away to closest to now. So we're going to look at a timeline of ancient Egypt. So, you can see here that the upper and lower Egypt were two separate lands. And that was all the way back in 5500 to 3100 BC. And BC stands for, anybody know? Before Christ. Then we go, we look at the first pharaoh, Pharaoh Nama, that was in 3100 BC. And we've got hieroglyphics. We're going to do some hieroglyphics work in the coming weeks. Um, you have got um, loads of things going on on here. Ramses, the great rule, that's another pharaoh. You've got Tutankhamun rule, that's another pharaoh. Cleopatra the seventh ruled. Wow, there's loads of different things. Do you notice that they all are in chronological order? However, it's a little bit confusing because for us, we think, oh, but our years go up because we're after Christ has been born. So we're Anna Domina. And so for this year, it's 2020, but next year will be 2021. But before Christ doesn't work like that. So if we were 1279 BC, the next year would be 1278 BC. So it counts down all the way to 1 BC. See if you can do a timeline of your, for yourself. That'd be a quite cool activity. Right. Did you know? The ancient Egyptians did not call their king a pharaoh. It was actually the ancient Greeks that invented the word. That's pretty cool, isn't it? So, pharaohs were the kings or queens of Egypt. Do you think they were men or women usually? Pause the video and write down a little note. Do you know what? They were usually men, but there were quite a lot of women as well that did. There were pharaohs. What do you think the pharaohs did? Think about what we discussed last term. We did a lot of discussion based on the pharaohs and the hierarchy and what they might be in charge of. So pause the video, have a little write down of what you've done. So, oh, let me just, can I move my bubble? I'm not sure I can. The ancient Egyptians believed that pharaohs were half man and half god. And it was thought that after death, they would be joined with the sun and a new pharaoh would be sent to rule on earth. Remember, they made the laws and were in charge of the army. So, the ancient Egyptians believed that the pharaohs were sent from high in by God. And they would be sent down to rule on earth. And they were half man and half God. Does anybody know any religious stories about that? There might be one. Pause the video and write a little bit about what you've just learned about who pharaohs are. So, our task today. We're going to look at some of the important pharaohs. And you're going to draw a picture of each pharaoh that we learn about. And you're going to surround them with key facts about their life. And I really, really want you to be as creative as you can with this. If you wanted to, you could carry out further research with your grown-ups about these pharaohs. Maybe you have a book, or maybe you have access to the internet, you can have a look. Oh, um, did you know there are over 150 different pharaohs? That's crazy, that's a huge amount. We won't be looking at all 150 today, don't worry. So, the very first pharaoh. So, as we discussed earlier, the Egypt used to be split into two kingdoms. The Upper Egypt, that was known as the White Crown, and the Lower Egypt, known as the Red Crown. Around 3100 BC, the North and the South, they joined together. The first true pharaoh, King Nama, ruled over it. Do you remember we said about pharaohs weren't called pharaohs back in ancient Egypt? Well, they were called kings and queens instead. 
Nama created the new capital of Egypt, known as Memphis, which sat on the border of the north and south. So, I'd love you to draw a picture of the first pharaoh, Nama, King Nama. That's a picture of him. It's a picture of a stone carving of him. And then, I'd love you to surround him with the facts about his reign. Pause the video, and you can do some learning work now. So our second pharaoh we're going to look at today is Ramses II. Do you see the two lines? One is um, Roman numerals, so one line would mean one, two lines mean two. They are also classified as eyes. So Ramses II was known as Ramses the Great. He was born in 1303 BC and died in 1213 BC. Do you see how it counts down? Do you think work out how old he was when he died? That's a challenge for you. You might want to pause the video while you work that one out. He reads he reigned as a pharaoh between one thousand two hundred and seventy nine to one thousand two hundred and thirteen BC. How long was he a pharaoh for? Have a think. He had many achievements over his long lives. He was a great leader, leading the ancient Egyptian army against many different enemies. So there was lots of different enemies back when he was a pharaoh. So, Hittites, uh, Syrians and Libyans. So he led the ancient Egyptian army against them to battle them. He created one of the first peace treaties to allow peace with the Hittites. So that means, does anybody know, know what a peace treaty is? Well, a peace treaty is when they sign a piece of paper, a legal piece of paper, that says, we will not fight anymore. We won't do that. That's wrong. We will live in harmony. We'll live in happiness. So this is your chance to pause the video and you can now draw your picture of Ramses II and add in some key facts about him. Thutmose the third. Now, do you remember... What we said about the lines, how many lines there this time? Three. And so that means it's the third. This picture of um, the pharaoh is slightly different. You can see he's got the very classic headdress that pharaohs we know wear. So we've seen that on Tutankhamun coming up. Um, and there's a lot of regal colours. So there's some gold, there's some blue and there's some red. And they're classified to be quite regal colours. Thutmose the third was born in fourteen eighty one BC and died in fourteen twenty five. However, he reigned from fourteen seventy nine to fourteen twenty five BC. How old do you think that made him when he first started to reign? Any ideas? I count it to be two years old. So he was too young to rule at first. So his aunt helped him, who didn't like her and. It is thought that he got her killed. So, in, back in those days, if he didn't like somebody, he could just get them killed. A bit scary, right? He went on to be a famous warrior king and never lost a war. He became very well liked for his bravery and strength. So, you're going to pause the video and you're going to draw a beautiful picture of Thutmus the third and surround him with some amazing facts. Oh, there's a little bit more. Um... He took back the countries of Syria and Canaan into Egyptian rule, which created the largest kingdom at that point. Sorry, now you're going to stop the video. There we go. Right, we've got Cleopatra. Now, who can work out what this says? Pause the video to have a think. So, the V stands for five, and the two lines, we know that stands for two. So, we add that together because the I's are after the V. It means seven. So Cleopatra the seventh was the last true pharaoh. She was born in 69 BC and died in 30 BC. So that meant she was 39 years old when she died. That's pretty young for now, but back then she was probably quite old. She reigned between 51 BC and 30 BC right up until she died. She was born a princess and her father was a pharaoh. Her family was Greek, but they had ruled Egypt for over 300 years. Cleopatra ruled with her brother. However, he threw her out of the palace. 
in 48 BC, Julius Caesar and Cleopatra fell in love. They defeated her brother's army. She went on to make a lot of money for the Egyptian kingdom and the people loved her for it. So she was really well loved, Cleopatra was. Who knows the name Julius Caesar? Have a think. Maybe you can tell me who Julius Caesar was and where, why he was really important. Pause the video and create your special um, picture and facts about Cleopatra the Seventh. Right, we've got Tutankhamun now. Everyone's heard of Tutankhamun. Very famous pharaoh. So Tutankhamun was born in 1331 BC and died in 1323 BC. He reigned from 1332 BC and... 1323 BC. So he became the pharaoh of at only nine and died at the age of 18. I think there might be a little bit of a typo in there, guys. I do apologise. I think it's meant to say 1321 rather than 1331. So he was very young when he became a pharaoh. And he died very young too. He ruled when the Egyptian Empire was at its strongest. No one quite knows how he died. It could have been from an accident or a disease, but his death was a surprise. Now, a lot of people know about Tutankhamun, and a lot of people have been um, to see the, um, the Egyptian pyramids, and you can see this picture of Tutankhamun and that's a very famous picture very regal as you can see the headdress with his little beard pause the video and draw your information about Tutankhamun I would love if you could find out some more facts about him that would be really cool and if you can correct my dates I'd be even more impressed so your next steps you're going to choose one of the pharaohs we've learned about and you're going to create a publicity poster um, and you're going to pretend they're running rule like we do when we have our government elections over here. And you're going to pretend that your pharaoh you've chosen, you really want them to rule Egypt. You can see a great version down here. So you're going to make it go, she will do this, he will do that. He is the best because. Okay, you might need to do some extra research for this. So pause the video and be as creative as you can. I cannot wait to see them. So, next week, we're going to begin with a quiz all about the pharaohs we've learnt about today. So, ensure you've learnt lots about them today. And I look forward to seeing how you go with the quiz next week. I hope you've enjoyed today's lesson. I'm going to quickly flick back through and just remind you that the, vi the email you need to send your work to is just here yr3 at grange.harrow.school sch.uk i can't wait to see everything guys um it's been an absolute pleasure to see you guys and i can't wait to see all your work hopefully we'll be back at school soon and we can yeah get back to normal i think um that'd be really nice anyway it's been nice to speak to you all and i'll see you soon bye